I think it's time to start a new series on my channel called Strengths and Weaknesses. In this series, I will go over shows and basically tell what's either a strength or a weakness of the show in this episode. However, I'm starting with something completely unexpected for my channel. I'm starting with a strength of the show Fairy Tale. It's an anime. And I've been watching an awful lot of it lately. Because most of the good shows are in their off seasons. And or hiatus. And I'm just going to come right out and say it. Fairy Tale does a lot of things wrong. Okay? For example, they do not know how to end plots the best sometimes. They don't know how to handle a lot of their subjects that they tackle. And the stories thus seem like each arc goes very similar, like if they fight one person, then another person, and, and so on and so forth. That's how fairy tale goes for me, as far as its story arcs. Yet, yeah, this may just be my, like, second favorite anime. And, I'm, sur I'm surprised this is an anomaly for me, where a show that has a lot of story problems is only, is second best. That's really good. I want to also do a shipping video on Fairy Tale because this is something I need to get out of the way too. Now, Fairy Tale's strength does not lie in its writing; it lies in the character. Oh my goodness, is Fairy Tale amazing at character development and heartwarming moments? While while it's good on the comedy. And great on the action. The characters on Fairy Tale is what keeps me coming back. And it's not the main characters that make me this way, and that's the big question for me about Fairy Tale. This is an anomaly for me in that way. I mean, most shows like Steven Universe or Gravity Falls keep you coming back for the main characters when they come back when they make you come back for the characters. However, Fairy Tale's main characters look as great and developed as um, Urza and Grey are, um, to be totally honest, Natsu and Lisana, no, n not Lisana, um, Natsu and Lucy are kind of flat, to be honest. And its greater strength lies in its side characters, like, I love Loki, I love, um, I like Levi a lot, I like Gurgiel, and I really, really love Juvia. Um, they have so many great characters for the side characters. But, probably one of the few examples that sticks out the most to me is Mary Jane, Elfman, and Lasan, that branch. They handle these emotional moments they throw at you perfectly. And this is so rare for a shonen. And that's why I'm not a big fan of most shonen. In fact, um, Naruto, I was turned, Naruto, I was turned off from the first episode of, and, One Piece, I tried to get into it, and I'm gonna watch that after Fairy Tale, but, but aside from that, Fairy Tale has something that those ones don't, it really, really developed its, its characters so strongly, and, basically, so, Elfman and Mary Jane's sister has died, and every time they talk about it, I feel so sad. It's one of the few cases, see, I don't really have a humor sensitivity to much TV aside from The Simpsons. An emotional sensitivity? Possibly. I meant like a tolerance. And... It works so much here. If you want a good show that can give you a lot of emotions and handle it rather well, I recommend Fairy Tale in all degrees. Now, especially later on when the characters go through a touching moment and stuff, the show excels. But I recommend this show to be watched. Thank you. Have a good night.